I'm Mingo Park in charge of training for utilization of fumigation equipment and devices in the COICA program. In this time, I'm going to present the process of treatment, especially fumigation. I'm a team major of phytosanitary treatment in pest control division in animal and plant quarantine agency since 1999. The contents are as follows, chemical and devices, fumigation process, and conclusion. Before fumigation, chemical and devices should be prepared. Metal bromide with 99% of ingredient is used in the treatment. A balance with 10 gram of resolution is used for weighing amount of MB to be injected. A vaporizer is used for vaporizing MB whose water should be over, over than 60, 60, 66 degrees of Celsius of water during injection of metal bromide. MB goes in through this line and goes out through the other line after heated by boiled water. The line for MB in vaporizer is coiled like this. There is a heater inside the vaporizer. This is a heater. Some metal needs for checking the uh, te temperature of commodity. Its resolution is 0 0.1 degree of Celsius. A fan is needed for circulating metal bromide inside the chamber. The chamber is used with the tarpaulin in this dryer. Moreover, the fan is used for degassing metal bromide after completion of fumigation. Gas detector, which is available for high concentration is needed for checking the concentration of metal bromide during fumigation. We can use a detector with analog type uh, or with digital type. The detection range is one to 100 gram per cubic meter with an analog type detector and 0 0.1 to 200 gram per cubic meter with a digital type one. Gas detector, which is available for low concentration, is used for checking leakage of metal bromide and the safety in work area. Detection range is supposed to be 1 to 18 ppm with a tube type detector and 0 0.1 to 300 ppm with a digital type detector. One of them is used in this trial, Mire 3000 plus. Fumigation procedure is as follows. At first, gas concentration hose and the circulation fan should be, should be installed. Gas hose for detecting gas concentration of metal bromide should be inserted in the box like this of commodity and then circulation fan set to introduce or circulate metal bromide. Fumigation hose be fumigation hose uh, be put on the fan. Chrysanthemum is fumigated in this trial. This is a chrysanthemum. I can play again. Um, like this, uh, uh, we put the, we should put the fan circulation pan and then insertion, introduction 
uh, introducing metabolomide line uh, should be put on the uh, circulation fan. And temperature of commodity should be checked for determine propose gas dosage that is supposed to be fumigated. Fumigation uh, tarpaulin is covering and sealing between tarpaulin and floor of warehouse for fumigation. Danger sign and the worksheet which is a short status of fumigation should be attached on the tarpaulin. And the information about fumigation is supposed to be written on the sheet. You can see that video clip, the recording, the, the information on the sheet. The proper amount of metabolomite on the temperature commodity is being applied while the, while the worker is wearing a gas mask uh, according to protocol in animal and plant quarantine agency. Chris Ansomom is, uh, in this trial, is applied with 48 gram per cubic meter of metal bromide at 10 to 15 degree of Celsius. You can uh, see the how to introduce uh, uh, metal bromide, the weighing, during weighing the metal bromide. After completion of uh, injection, gas leakage should be checked. And if leakage is found, resealing should be conducted. You can see the video clip about it. And the safety line should be around the three meter from the tarpaulin. This is the safety line. They checked that, um, Leakage of metabolomide, the liquid tester uh, the alarm. So he uh, resealed that tarpaulin. Inspectors are supposed to put the security mark like this between the ceiling tape and floor in the warehouse because the tarpaulin should not be opened during fumigation by workers with the absence of ins inspectors. Like this. Um, you can see that uh, security mark. Yes, the concentration is supposed to be checked 30 minutes after completion of metabolomide injection and just before and just before end of fumigation to determine whether the concentration meets the protocol of AFCA. This detector in the video clip is an analog type, but it is quite difficult to read the concentration. Uh, 
uh, he's uh, observing the air in the tarpaulin to check the gas concentration through that analog type detector. The detector is a digital type. Um, it is easier to read the concentration on, on uh, analog type. We can use one of them, but this one is preferable. The concentration at 30 minutes after injection of metabolomide should be over than uh, 36 gram per cubic meters. Uh, that's why 39 gram cubic meter of metal on the detector uh, shows that it meets the protocol. Metal should be uh, degassed quickly after completion of fumigation to lessen probable, probable damage of commodity by high concentration of MB. Especially, chrysanthemum is feasible to be damaged by metabolomide. At first, metabolomide should decast uh, first aeration like this, and then uh, and then naturally degassing should be conducted for two hours. After degast, metabolomide should be checked in the work work area to determine whether it is less than permissible exposure level, which is one ppm. You can see that uh, the ppm less than one ppm. And that is the safe, that, that's why it is safe. Finally, the fumigation result is issued by inspector if a proper fumigation is confirmed. This is the conclusion. Before fumigation, equipment and devices should be prepared to gas concentration hose and then a circulation fan be set, temperature of commodity be measured and the tarpaulin should be covered and sealed. Then the sign and fumigation worksheet 
should be put on the tarpaulin and safety line be around it. During fumigation, proper amount of metabolomite should be injected, gas leakage be tested, gas concentration should be determined at 30 minutes, at 30 minutes after ambis uh, injection and the end point of fumigation. After fumigation, forced exhaust of metabolomide from tarpaulin should be conducted, followed by natural degassing be processed, and the area concentration be checked to resume the work such as unloading. Finally, inspectors are supposed to issue the certification of fumigation result. This is all about the fumigation process. See you next time. Thank you very much for your attention.